I've known Steve for a while um, and he's just been a, a great help to my son who's had difficulties at school, um, difficulties with friendships and uh, my son really looks up to him so you know I, I think a lot of Steve and um, you know I'd like to support him in, in this really so not just him but obviously the children and, and the, the village as a facility for the village. He does give us a lot of opportunities and he pulls us off of our TVs or basically because I know teenagers like to be on consoles because I do and it just Xbox <laughs> PlayStation and it's the one thing that every Friday we just come and we get off our consoles and have fun elsewhere. I would describe this place as really welcoming. Um, I really like the idea of the theme of come as you are. That, that's a really important theme for me and I feel like this is a really good space to be that person and to kind of just come as you are and experience God. I attend West Fort Vineyard Church uh, and I work with youth so it was natural for that me and Dan would make a connection. He, was, uh, he came into town, was looking to make connections with other youth workers which was great. So this whole Pulse thing was birthed out of that really and Dan asked me to be part of the team quite early on. The beauty about this is now is it's ecumenical, so lots of different churches are getting involved. Also, he's, he's built a leadership team of young people, which is really what the future of Pulse is about. So it's, I suppose Dan is probably all about the discipleship of those young people and, and making this event for them, run by them eventually. Um, I think it's been, it's, it's been really cool for me because I spend a lot of time in my faith kind of shying away from doing things like this and not being very confident. But I feel like, like the opportunity that Dan's given me has really kind of helped me to step forward more in my faith. It's a project that started alongside St. Thomas Church in Trowbridge and we have a number of young people that come each week to come pray for each other and spend time together and I get to teach which is great uh, from the Bible, we get to discuss ideas, topics together that are relevant to these young people. At my church there's only about four young people including myself so it's quite tricky to kind of get or talk about good topics because there's not really anybody to do it so coming to youth stream means that I can speak with more people about those issues. The things we talk about at youth stream are simple practical yet effective uh, ways of um, getting closer with God and personally I think my prayer life has gotten a lot better uh, because it helped me see God in a different light and um, just changed the way I speak with him. My heart really is to see this develop over a long period of time. Discipleship takes time. Young people take time to, to grow and trust. And so I really hope, one of my hopes for the future is Wiltshire Youth for Christ stays in Trowbridge and in Wiltshire for the long haul. I think one of the biggest or one of the biggest advantages of having what I've seen in town is actually is bringing the churches together and I think having uh, almost somebody who is outside of the church but part of the church is, is uh, I suppose is really, um, well I suppose they make things possible that probably wouldn't be before so the, the interdenominational things that would normally cause friction actually by having what I've seen in place kind of dissolves that which is nice. Um, I know Dan some, does some great work with uh, mentoring and is making some real headway in schools. Um, recently in our church he was asking for people to volunteer for that, so that's something that is, is really taking, uh, taking hold. And the beauty of having YFC is it kind of opens doors into those places that would sometimes be hard to reach.